adding and subtracting fractions with unlike denominators. Remember that whenever we're adding or subtracting fractions, they must have a common denominator. But what if we're trying to add or subtract fractions that don't have a common denominator? In that case, we must make fractions into equivalent fractions that do have a common denominator. Then we can add or subtract them. Let's see how this is done. The first step is to find the lowest common multiple, or LCM, of the denominators in the fractions we're given. The lowest common multiple of the denominators will be the lowest common denominator, or LCD, and this is the best denominator to use. For example, let's say we're asked to add the fractions 3 50ths and 4 15th. We see that the denominators 50 and 15 are not the same, so we need to find the lowest common multiple of 50 and 15. We know that both 50 and 15 can be divided by 5. 50 is equal to 10 times 5, so we write this here. And 15 is equal to 3 times 5, so we write this here. Now we draw a circle around the two 5s, the common factor of 50 and 15. To find the lowest common denominator, we multiply the 10 and only one of the two 5s and the 3. And the answer is 10 times 5 times 3 is equal to 150. So 150 is our lowest common denominator. The next step is to rewrite both fractions so they have the common denominator we found in step 1. The first fraction is 3 50ths. To change the denominator 50 to 150, we must multiply it by 3. Therefore, we must also multiply the numerator by 3. So 3 50ths can be rewritten as 3 times 3, or 9 over 150. Now we'll look at the other fraction, 4 15th. To give it a denominator of 150, we must multiply 15 by 10. And to get the new numerator, we must also multiply the 4 by 10. 4 times 10 gives us 40 for our new numerator. So the fraction 4 15ths can be written as 40 over 150. So 3 50ths plus 4 15ths can be written as 9 over 150 plus 40 over 150. In the third step, we add up the fractions with the common denominator. The denominator of the sum will be 150. And the numerator will be 9 plus 40, which is 49. 49 over 150 cannot be reduced to simpler terms. So the final answer to our question is 49 over 150. So here we'll review the steps we can use for either adding or subtracting fractions which don't have a common denominator. First, we find the lowest common multiple of the denominators in our fractions, and this will be the lowest common denominator in the new fractions we create. Next, we rewrite both fractions so they have the lowest common denominator we found in step 1. Lastly, we add or subtract the fractions with the common denominator to get our final answer. If the final answer can be reduced to lower terms, we do so. Here's a question for you to try. Pause the video and go through the steps we outlined to obtain your answer. Then resume the video and check your answer. First, we see that these two fractions have unlike denominators, so we must start by finding the lowest common multiple of 24 and 30, which will be our lowest common denominator. 24 and 30 are both multiples of 6. 24 is 4 times 6, and 30 is 5 times 6. We draw an oval around the two 6s. Our lowest common denominator is 4 times 6 times 5, which is equal to 120. We must rewrite both fractions so they have a denominator of 120. We'll start with the fraction 19 24 To give it a denominator of 120, we must multiply the 24 by 5. Therefore, to get the new numerator, we must also multiply the 19 by 5, which is 95. 
So 19 over 24 can be written as 95 over 120. Now we'll have a look at the other fraction, 11 thirtieths. To rewrite this fraction with a denominator of 120, we must multiply the denominator 30 by 4. 30 times 4 is 120. Because we multiplied the denominator by 4, we must also multiply the numerator by 4. And 11 times 4 is equal to 44. So the fraction 11 thirtieths can be written as 44 over 120. After writing the two fractions with the common denominator of 120, we now have the expression 95 over 120 minus 44 over 120. The denominator for our answer will be 120. And the numerator will be 95 minus 44, which is equal to 51. However, taking a closer look at the fraction 51 over 120, you may realize that both 51 and 120 can be divided by 3 to give whole numbers, and reduce this fraction to simpler terms. So we'll divide both 51 and 120 by 3. 51 divided by 3 equals 17, and 120 divided by 3 equals 40. So the final answer to the question, reduced to its lowest terms, is 17 over 40.